This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the use of drugs. How's it going, everyone? My name is Zoki Fish, and in this video, I'll be covering the cognitive benefits of vitamin D and how it can improve brain health, ADHD, and mood. At least 1 billion people across the globe are deficient in vitamin D, and this can lead to a wide variety of problems. However, if consumed in healthy amounts, vitamin D can yield many advantages that can change your life. It's a miracle. <laughs> I'll go over the benefits, nootropic effects, forms, dosage, my personal thoughts on it, and much more. Let's get into it. sunshine vitamin, vitamin D is obtained naturally through sun exposure, food, and supplementation. When you absorb it from the sun, ultraviolet B light binds to your DNA, RNA, and different proteins. Using vitamin D as a nootropic is important for ideal cognitive health. But my mind is so clear. It is an essential part of gene expression, DNA repair, and the creation of neurotransmitters. Vitamin D regulates the function of up to 2,000 genes in your body. We have got trillions of dormant genes in us, our whole evolutionary past. In fact, almost all all tissues and cell types in the human body have vitamin D receptors. Around 50% of the Earth's population is deficient in vitamin D, and this can lead to many different issues, especially cognitive related diseases and impairment. A huge reason for the world's deficiency is inadequate exposure to sunlight. You need sunlight, man, you turn white. Many people spend most of the time working and living indoors, which is a huge culprit for this. If you wear sunscreen, this will reduce the absorption of vitamin D by over 90%. Furthermore, the darker your skin tone, the longer it takes for your skin to synthesize vitamin D from sunlight. Power absorption power. Absorb! And vitamin D is mostly made in the skin from exposure to UVB light. This is different from most other vitamins, which are primarily gotten from food. Some problems that may arise if you don't get enough vitamin D include depression, cognitive impairment, dementia, diabetes, and weak bones. Low vitamin D is correlated with low testosterone production. Supplementing with it can raise T levels. It's also commonly associated with bone health and a strong immune system. Vitamin D is needed to regulate social behavior Behavior and is greatly involved in the synthesis of GABA, glutamate, and dopamine. It's also associated with people who experience seasonal depression, which is when someone becomes more depressed during the winter and fall time where sunlight levels are lower. Studies have shown that the link between vitamin D and our mood is connected within the neurotransmitter serotonin. High levels of serotonin makes you feel more focused, emotionally stable, calmer, and happier. Low levels of serotonin are associated with depression and lack of energy. Many studies collectively show a correlation between vitamin D and mental state, essentially meaning that when your mood is low, your vitamin D levels are also probably low. This is low. This is really low. Several studies on vitamin D and depression showed that older adults with vitamin D deficiency were 11 times more likely to be depressed. A meta-analysis of clinical studies with over 30,000 participants showed that low vitamin D concentrations is associated with experiencing depression. Lab results have proven vitamin D's ability to protect against age-related cognitive decline. Clinical evidence shows that it influences our autoimmune system, heart health, prevents infectious diseases, and supports optimal cognition. Typically, the supplement comes in the dosage of anywhere between 2,000 to 5,000 IU. If you take 4,000 IU or more daily, it's beneficial to skip taking one to two days a week to avoid having excess levels of calcium build up in your blood. Some exceptions may occur if advised by your doctor. For example, when I had some of my back surgeries done, my surgeon would give me a single 50,000 IU pill to take once a week. Vitamin D exists in two forms. D2 is typically produced by refining a certain type of yeast. Vitamin D3 is synthesized through ultraviolet light and the sun striking the skin. D3 is known as the most natural form. It's all natural. Vitamin D is unique because it is not a standard vitamin. It's actually a fat-soluble steroid hormone. Since it's fat-soluble, it is recommended to consume it with a high-fatty meal or one that contains at least 20 to 50 grams of fat for maximal absorption. Alternatively, you can take it with something like MCT oil or a scoop of peanut butter. All in all, vitamin D is crucial for optimal brain health, cognitive function, and mood regulation, among many other things. Another nutrient that is essential for optimal mental health is uridine monophosphate. This is a key component of RNA and is involved in numerous biological processes in the body. Watch this video next on everything you to know about uridine monophosphate and how it can boost dopamine levels and speed up dopamine transmission in the brain. Dopamine is known as the feel-good neurotransmitter. My name is Fish and I stay low-key. Peace out.